So we have a set, which we're calling V. V is the set of all of the vectors in R cubed such that the third component is equal to the sum of the first two components. And we want to prove that this is a subspace of this vector space here. And all of this, our field will be the set of real numbers. So what do we need to show? We need to show three things. One, we have to show that V is not empty. And that's pretty easy to do. Uh, two, we have to show that if we have two vectors, say X and Y and V, then the sum of those vectors is also inside V. And lastly, we have to show that if we have, say, a scalar alpha in our field, which is the set of real numbers, and another vector in V, that the scalar product, so alpha x, is also in V. So we have to show it's closed under vector addition, and this here uh, is saying it's closed under scalar multiplication. Let's go ahead and prove this. It's a pretty easy proof. So proof. So we'll start by showing condition one. We have to show it's not empty. We'll note that zero is equal to zero plus zero. Right, so zero is equal to zero plus zero. So this means that the vector zero, zero, zero is in V. So it does contain the zero vector, so it is in fact non-empty. So condition one is done, pretty easy. Two, we have to take two vectors in V and show that their sum is also in V. So suppose, that we have two vectors which live inside V. Then that means we can write these vectors as follows. That means that the first vector x is x1, x2, x3. And the other vector, let's call it uh, y1, y2, y3. For sum, and then we know that all of these little components, x1, x2, x3, these are all real numbers, y1, y2, y3. These guys are all in the set of real numbers. And moreover, we know something else. This is a special set, right? If you're in this set, your third component is the sum of the first two. So, and we know that x sub 3 is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 and y sub 3 is equal to y sub 1 plus y sub 2. So we know that's what it means for a vector to be in V. It means the third component is the sum of the first two. Now we have to show that the sum is in this set. So note, let's look at what the sum looks like. If you take x, the vector x, and add it to the vector y, well the addition is the normal component wise addition. So you just add the corresponding components. So x sub 1 plus y sub 1 x sub 2 plus y sub 2, and x sub 3 plus y sub 3. So that's what the sum of the vectors looks like. And we have to show that this is in V. So we have to show that the third component, so and, the third component, x3 plus y3, we have to show it's the sum of the first two. Well, x3 is right here. It's x1 plus x2. And y3 is right here. It's y1 plus y2. And I'm being a little abusive here. You should have parentheses. But uh, these are real numbers. So addition is associative. And moreover, it's commutative. So we can write this as x sub 1 plus y sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus y sub 2. So we've shown that the third entry, the third component of our vector, is the sum of the first two, right? The first two. That's precisely what it means for the vector x plus y to be in v. So x plus y is in v. So this shows that v is closed under vector addition. The third step is to show it's closed under scalar multiplication. Again, pretty easy. So take any vector in V and some scalar alpha and the field of real numbers, then we know that X is equal to the vector whose components are X1, X2, X3 for some X1, X2, X3 in the field of real numbers. 
And we know that the third component is the sum of the first two. So x3 is equal to x1 plus x2. So then we have to look at the vector alpha times the vector x, right? The vector alpha x, so this is equal to x sub 1, alpha x sub 1, alpha x sub 2, alpha x sub 3. And, well, what, does, what, what is the third component? Alpha x sub 3, well, using this equation, that's alpha times x sub 1 plus x sub 2. And these are real numbers, so alpha distributes, so alpha x sub 1 plus alpha x sub 2. So the third component is the sum of the first two. So the vector alpha x is in v. So this shows that v is closed under scalar multiplication. So therefore, v is a subspace. So I hope this helps.